Maybe it's time that... You guys should just break up. So... Yeah. Is it over? I guess so. Is it over for you too, right? Yeah, I guess so. This is Daniel. He's going to college and working at the same time. He has a girlfriend named Jennifer. Jennifer is going to college and doesn't like Daniel's friend, Ricky. Ricky is Daniel's best friend and is also dating Jennifer's cousin, Alexis. Alexis is in school too. They hang out and have fun. But if they're not careful, they might all end up single in Miami. Breakup's really been messing with him. Okay, but babe, it's been a couple months. He needs to start to heal at some point. Daniel's a complex creature. He once found mayonnaise in his armpit. First of all, ew. Second of all, what does that have anything to do with the breakup? To show you how complex he is, it's just going to take him some time to walk through all the steps. First, we have denial. The breakup didn't happen, leading him to believe he still has a girlfriend. This is the shortest phase, because why would a guy ever pretend to have a girlfriend without any of the fun stuff? Next, anger. Now, given Daniel's gaming habits, he exhibits behavior of that of a rager. Now, I would say he should just work off the anger by jerking off, but knowing him, he might quite literally beat his meat. So, I just back away and slide the occasional Oreo. Next, bargaining. We must be committed to keeping Jennifer away from him at all costs. This is tough in the age of cell phones, but I will step in and become the de facto girlfriend by just playing games online. Dale, let's pick this up. Don't rush me, babe. This is very important information. Oh, I almost forgot depression. It seems obvious. We've seen Sad Boy Daniel before where he becomes a weird grunge kid. With all the leather, right? A crap ton of leather. Yeah, again, more treats. Maybe we drag him out to the wharf. Now, if we don't like the thought of money in our pockets, we can take him to Eleven, where a girl can grind him for a thousand bucks. I say we take him to the strip club on Gaia Ocho, where we can be in and out for 50 bucks and a nice dance from Teresa. I got you to even ask how you know this Teresa person, but Mercury is in retrograde right now, so I'm gonna be sent. Then finally, acceptance. We move on with our lives, and Daniel goes out with a couple floozies every now and then. Crisis averted. Should we have called him or something? Maybe he's like, you know... Nah, it's too late in the day. He's already done it once this morning. Next session will be after dinner. You two know way too much about each other. Don't women, like, sync up or something? Just knock on the door. Come in. Doors open. Like, I'm just trying to offer you support and help you, and you have to brush it off. Like, why can't you just be supportive? Like, Baby? one time, what? Baby. How long has it been? Uh, two and a half months since the breakup? No, since the last time you showered. When was Veterans Day? Like last month. Yeah, it's uh, been a while then. <laughs> <laughs>